Um, so a little bit about myself. I spent my entire career on the West Coast. Um, I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. Went to boot camp in Great Lakes. They had day school in Great Lakes. Uh, Tell me where I was going. They said, you're going to San Diego, California. I said, okay, cool. So from 1996 up until 2015, I was in San Diego, California. Never went anywhere else. North Island or 36th Street? I was at both. I did Constellation, Nimitz, um, oh, North Island. I was on John Paul Jones and Mobile Bay on 32nd Street. Um, and then I did a uh, point moment moment at security. Back, we already know what you did there, which is a training command. They told my wife, hey, you got to go to the USS Cole uh, station out of Norfolk, Virginia. So I was like, well, we can't be apart. So, I get, and so my detail was like, well, I guess you're going to Norfolk. So we own a home in California, and we went from leaving in July to her date being pushed up and being rerouted. So she actually went to another ship. Um, so she left before me, a month before me. So I had. I had about 45 days to sell my house and then buy another house in Virginia. So, <laughs> driving through Malibu one day, uh, going to a Lakers game, um, I'm on Realtor.com, I'm looking at houses, I'm stressed out, and I see our house. I emailed it to my wife, I said, I think this is the house that we're going to buy. And she was like, I absolutely love it, uh, but we don't know anyone in Norfolk. And I said, well, we'll go to Yelp. Right, because I was really big on using Yelp. So with Yelp, found the first realtor that I, the first realtor, I just called her up and said, hey, my name is Hughes, I'm stationed in San Diego, um, and this is what, this is my issue, right? And one thing I learned about Yelp, even though they give great reviews on people, they may not always be the best situation. They may not know how to handle your particular situation. Um, so my wife ended up coming out here. Uh, they met. The her and the realtor met, and immediately it was like, it was off. It was something that wasn't right. She didn't want to show my wife any um, homes. Uh, she really didn't direct us towards any, any lenders. Uh, it was just a nightmare. So what ended up happening was the lender, her original lender um, that she had recommended to us, he referred me to another lender. And that lender would help me with the actual VA process, which was a long, strenuous process. Um, but because I owned a home, I had never used my VA because I lived in California. And at that time, when I purchased the home, the amount just didn't add up, so we did we had a different loan uh, package. So going through this, this procedure, going through this process, we ended up selling my house. I had a dynamite agent out there, sold the house uh, within 23 days, was able to close and then moved on. Um, moved out here. We ended up getting the house that we wanted, uh, but I kind of just rushed into that process. Right? I found another realtor from another person. Um, I really didn't have him look for any other homes in the area. I just wanted that house. I ended up getting that house, but then when I drove around the corner, I realized my house sat behind two lakes and there was a whole other community behind it. I realized I could have got a better house had I just did my homework, a little bit more homework and made sure that I had the right lender and the right agent give me the right direction. So uh, just please make sure when you start your home buying process, make sure you have the right agent and the right lender to help you through your process. So today we're going to talk about the VA, um, VA benefits, any, any private military, any private military? Have you ever used your VA benefits before? Uh, what's the difference between a veteran's choice and a VA loan? Okay, so veteran's choice is, um, okay, so VA loan is a loan that's, that's automatically given to you after you complete, uh, complete so, many days, so many years of service. Um, it's automatic. Um, you still have to qualify for the loan. Uh, veteran preference is like if you're applying for a job or uh, certain position, you'll get veteran preference. We're going to give you points towards that because you are actually a veteran. I know Chris is real familiar with that. Mr. Hayes is real familiar with that. I'll go, he'll go over that process with the loan uh, I'm actually gaining a loan. But you get what's called a certificate of eligibility. That certificate of eligibility is good for 90 days. Um, it sets in your criteria. It's based on a, on a few factors um, as far as what your debt to income ratio, uh, how much you uh, make. Um, position and how long you've been in, if you can actually validate how long you're going to be staying in. My problem was I was at 18 years. The usual, typically, if I would have retired at 20, then I would have had to wait two years to make sure I had a job to reestablish to, um, to, to apply for that loan, to get that loan. But because I was doing 22, I had to get uh, authorization from the command, you had to have letterheads, with verification that I actually re-enlisted, I had orders to be extended out to my PRD. It's my plan rotation day um, and my set retirement day, so they were able to validate that. 
Um, one other thing is um, the, the credit score guidelines, they change from time to time. Uh, typically it's 620, but depending on the lender, you can go as low as 580. Um, it just depends on what lender that you're actually using. Um, they, they can help you out with that. And there's other things that they want to know. So if you've been divorced, if you've been divorced, they want to know. Right? They want to see the divorce decree. Um, if you have anything child support related, just all part of the law process, they want to know every little bit of information so that they can make a determination on your loan. Also, the home has to qualify. So what I learned out here was that a home in San Diego, a box, a box this size is about $350,000 in a city. It doesn't have to be renovated, it's nothing new, it's just a house, right? That house will qualify for VA in San Diego, but that same house won't qualify in Virginia. So the house has to qualify, it has to appraise for the value for VA to say, okay, you can get that one. And I'll let uh, Mr. Hayes explain further, go further in detail into that. Um, other than that, I mean, that, that service is available to you. So, I mean, if you, if you have a DD-214, um, you can show proof of uh, eligibility with that DD-214, uh, showing that you actually had active uh, service time. You can use your loan. And you can use it more than once. So do you use VA loan more than once? Yes, you can do what's called a redemption. So, say you, you use your loan, right? You can only, like, you can use it, you have to pay the loan off and then you can reuse it again. Or, or if you sell your house, you get that money back and then you can uh, reuse it again. So, it's not like you use it one time and then that's it. But doing military, like, my, my, for my situation, I was the primary one, this particular loan, right, for this house. Well, my wife wants to move back to San Diego. So now, I don't know, she can use her loan now. And she's the primary because she's still entitled to her loan. Right? She's never used it. She's on our on the loan that we have, but now she has her own loan that she can use for her own use. Whatever. <laughs> so uh, that's all I have. If you have any questions, all right. Thank you very much. All right.